Welcome to San Diego's most popular local morning news. Good morning, San Diego. Let's check in with Mike Castellucci this morning. He is in East County in El Cajon. And Mike, it looks like you might be in a kitchen there. And all oh, look at the cuts of meat and oh, the chicken just got out of the oven. You will never guess who this food is for. We'll uh, let you know after two minutes. But first, your lottery numbers. Some, somebody cue the looch. Hi, Castellucci. What's going on? Hi. Oh, I could hear you now. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm sleeping. How are good. you? Yeah, you were just, it was funny because you were walking by and you were kind of shaking your head going, nope. <laughs> no, nope. I, uh, no one, you know, I, I was Couldn't just uh, out here in the Ethosphere. Actually, we're in East County at, uh, in El Cajon. And I just wanted to show you these excellent cuts of meat, uh, Dan, uh, in particular for you. And uh, the chicken, look at that. Chicken just came out of the oven. And uh, I just wanted to let you know who they're cooking all this for. Dogs. That's right, Fido. Uh, this is a dog food company. Karen Scoggins is a CEO here over with me by the ovens as you look at them uh, uh, grinding it all up into dog food. It's my perfect pet, and uh, Karen has an interesting story. Uh, just like many of us, uh, we all have our pets, and they're part of the family, and when the food isn't good for them, uh, we are concerned. And in fact, Karen lost a family member, a dog, uh, because of tainted food, right? That's correct. A little over three years ago, we lost our lab to tainted pet food, and we began studying and researching what was in the pet food that we were feeding, yeah. and finally decided that the only way we could know for sure what was in the food we were feeding our pets was to make it ourselves. And this is what they're doing. In fact, uh, they're growing so rapidly that they've uh, uh, grown past a kitchen. Now they're in this one. Now they're growing past this one. But uh, it's called My Perfect Pet. And, uh, you know, we're all concerned when we look at the bag of food, uh, what's in there. Some of it, we don't even know what it, what it means. But uh, here, I guess this is what it means. It means real meat. Right. Our ingredients list is very simple. When you look at our label, you'll actually recognize the foods that we use on the label. Yeah. We try to get all the nutrition possible out of whole, fresh, real food. All right. So that's what she's doing. Karen Scoggins, uh, my perfect pet. In fact, uh, after it's cooked and uh, ground up here, then it comes over here. And this is a process they actually... Uh, you know, kind of uh, made up themselves, these uh, little forms and so forth, and they're going to form it right now. Now watch this right here. She, he puts it down on there, apparently, and then what happens, Karen? Well, the food is formed into one-cup bars. Oh, it's like that. a little power bar of dog food. Wow. But once it's formed, it goes immediately into the freezer. Uh -huh. We freeze it so that we don't have to use any preservatives. Yeah. Okay. And from there, it stays frozen until it gets packaged and delivered to the pet owner ready to serve. And speaking of packaging, here it is uh, being packaged over on this side uh, in one cup uh, servings. And so uh, there you go, Dan and Sandra. It's my perfect pet. Uh, they're doing a great service for uh, all of our uh, Fido's out there. And let me, before I go, uh, let's come over here. Hey, Karen, you said it was good enough for, uh, for people. What? No, I'm going to try to get your husband over. C come over here. Here, take a little, oh, take a little sample, would you? There you go. Uh, if that is, a the, little garlic salt, but other than that, if, if that's not an endorsement, I don't know what is. I almost wow. was gonna do it, but I, oh, I chickened out. That is <laughs> testimonial, though. And you know, yeah. I gotta tell you, Mike, half the people in the newsroom are saying they would eat those steaks right now. Those yeah, steaks, I they know. look like big, huge New York strip steaks or something. <laughs> I, I mean, what? That's amazing, and no preservatives. Yeah, that's right. right, and it's it's all uh, after it's uh, made here. It's uh, frozen and uh, you know right away. Uh, Karen says it's it's funny that you can see uh, dog food. It says made with real beef, and then it sits out on the shelf like a Twinkie for uh, four years. So right. uh, that's why they freeze it and uh, and so forth. But uh, they're doing a good business over here in El Cajon, and we like to see them grow. No doubt, very impressive, very impressive. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, natural. All right, Michael, see thank ya. you. All right. Yeah, we'll see you in a little bit.